Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to install Windows XP in VMware because in our in our some of our future videos we need Windows XP. So I'm going to show you that how we can install the Windows XP. Actually, Windows XP is no more supported by Microsoft, but you will not be using in your real system in your uh, host host system. But in virtual environment for learning purpose, we are going to use XP. Okay, so now. To start installation of Windows XP in this VMware workstation, uh, first of all, we have to uh, click on this create a new virtual machines, and then we have to click on typical, and then we click the next. So this is I think you can read it that create a workstation 16.2 or virtual machine in a few easy steps. So we are going with this typical, and then next, and here we have to give the path of our file ISO file which we just downloaded. So for me, this file is in my downloads folder. So this may be hide it. This one is Windows XP Professional ISO file, which I downloaded to install Windows XP Professional in my virtual uh, environment. So I have given the path here and then say, okay, okay. And this is the path we have set it and then we click next. And here we have to give the product key and maybe in the name we can give in the name like UB and product key, maybe we can give this product key later on as well. So we click next and now this is the location so this is the location where we or where, where we are going to uh, save the files which will be created during this installation and this is a virtual machine name so I'm not going to change it but of course you can change you can give it any name okay, so Windows XP professional this is the virtual machine name which I am selecting and then click next and this is the uh, disk space this capacity so it means this is the virtual hard disk which will be allocated for this virtual machine so by default this has been selected as 40 so i'm going to stick with that i'm not changing it and then we click next so this is virtual disk as a single file and split virtual disk into multiple files but for our purpose this, this will not make any difference so we are going to stick with the by default setting and then we click next and now it says that ready to create virtual machine so now we have uh, followed all the steps to create our virtual machine so in this virtual machine we will have this much hard disk that is 40 gb and this is the ram memory and this is the network adapter that is nat network address translation so with this basic uh, with these set basic setups we have uh, we are going to install virtual machine in our virtualization software that is vmware and we can also customize hardware here, but we are not going to change it. We can, of course, change it as well. We want to change any hard disk or maybe RAM or anything. So we are done with that. We just click finish. And now we have, you can see in this VMware, this setup has already started for installation of uh, uh, Windows XP in my virtual machine, in my virtualization software that is VMware. And this you can see here, this is the Windows setup. You can see uh, this has already started. I have to wait for a while so that it can it can um, work on that. So setup is uh, starting Windows, Windows setup. And I again want to emphasize that I am using VMware Workstation Pro. And my host operating system, uh, the computer which I'm using, that operating system is Windows 10 and uh, I'm using VMware as a virtualization software and uh, I'm going to install Windows XP Professional as a virtual machine. You can see these all steps here is why wait while setup uh, copies files and uh, to the Windows installation folder this might take several minutes to complete we may, uh, may, may, we may need to wait for several minutes so that this uh, can complete the copying of files. And once this has uh, completed the copying the files necessary for installation, it will show us the rest of the steps. And we have to be patient. It may take time because we are creating a, we are creating a virtual machine. We are installing locally. Windows XP Professional in this other virtualization software. This is please wait while setup initializes your Windows XP. 
and this is Windows uh, XP Professional. And now we have this Windows XP Professional, which is getting ready on my um, on my virtual machine as a virtual machine. And here, an existing new look. We have some introduction about, I mean, some some information about Windows XP. We can read out here. But as I mentioned before, the support by Microsoft is no more there. So we will not be using on in, uh, in our host operating system. As a host operating system, we will not be using it because this can be vulnerable if we use it. We, we are using it only in our virtual environment to show you some of the future lab sessions on, on ethical hacking. So anyway, even if you are not using this for any other purpose, but this is a way by which we can actually install Windows XP in our virtual environment. And more or less this, with the same uh, steps, you can also install this Windows XP in VirtualBox. So VirtualBox is a free virtualization software for VMware, we have one month where we can actually use it, but for one month, after one month, we need to pay. So try the easiest windows yet, it's, it's still working. So this is installing devices. You can also keep reading these steps that what, what are the steps taken by this installation process to make this Windows XP machine ready on our uh, computer in our virtualization environment. I'm waiting and maybe I'll pause this video for a while. So now it's uh, asking for product key. So I have the product key, I'm going to paste it. Click next. And maybe I'll again pause this video and I'll be back again when this, has, uh, this step is complete. Okay, so this setup has been completed and now we can see maybe the first time how Windows XP look like. Uh, still it has some, it may take some time. setup completed and we could hear the sound of Windows XP so this is there once this is installed we can see if this has uh, if this has received IP address and we can also verify whether we are able to access internet on this Windows XP machine or not and we are creating this Windows XP professional as a virtual machine okay Okay, now finally we have the desktop of Windows XP there. And one more thing we will be doing here is for uh, to make this screen bigger or so that this Windows XP can cover the whole screen, we will be installing virtual drivers here in this, in this Windows XP as well. So once this is done, or it seems like maybe uh, VMware tools are uh, being installed now. So please wait while the setup wizard install VMware tools. So see that these are the tools which will be helping us. And now automatically actually this has been done for us. We don't need to install this VMware tools. I mean, this was automatically done by VMware workstation. Otherwise we had to install it 
file or such but now you can see automatically by uh, installing this VMware tools in our virtualization software now we can see that Windows XP has covered the whole screen of this otherwise this was a really small screen for us and after this all the steps we have finally Windows XP professional ready for us to use and uh, we can just now see here and you can see this was really easy step and I'm using VMware Workstation Pro right so this was the easy step to install Windows XP professional in our virtual environment we have created virtual machine and as I mentioned before and maybe just to give a feeling or to have a feeling that we have this machine then we can just click view and full screen so now we have the complete virtual setup with us so this is uh, Windows XP professional and then if we go to start and if we run here and then we can go to CMD and we want to see IP config here to see if the IP address has been given to this because we made this system part of net so you can see we have this IP address 192.168.66.127 it means now this machine is connected on the internet as well and for verification if we click on Windows this Explorer maybe we can say maybe google.com and we press enter you can see we are able to browse internet as well right so with these simple steps Windows XP professional is ready to be used as a virtual machine in our virtualization software and maybe we'll be using this in our uh, future lab sessions thank you